Here we have an MSI laptop, model number MS17F4, that came in for repair. Let's read what the customer wrote. Laptop does not turn on or display any lights by battery power and AC power respectively. We have tried removing the battery, RAM, SSD, and Wi-Fi card with no luck. We've also tried changing the power cord. So we know the laptop is dead, and Big Boss already went over the laptop. He always goes over all the basics before the board is put on my bench. I have the board right here. We're going to go over the board and see what's going on and why the laptop is not powering on. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. So without wasting any time, let's start with the DC input. I always start at the DC input, any laptop, and we check for a short. We can check for a short at the drain of the second MOSFET or even at the current sense resistor. So meter in diode mode, if we check here, look at this, we have a short circuit. We should never have a short circuit at the current sense resistor. Let me go to ohms mode. Usually we should get a reading of about 0 0.4 in diode mode. I got a zero. And if we check in resistance mode, what do we have? A dead short, a dead zero ohm short. That's not good. That's the problem. I would say 70, 80% of the times we are able to fix short circuit related problems. And other times the repair may be not practical, non-practical, or economical to fix. Such as if the problem is CPU-related, PCH-related, GPU-related, then we deem the device a no-fix. Non-practical or economical repair. So what we're going to do is inject voltage onto that shorted current sense resistor, monitor the board under a thermal camera, and see what gets hot. Easy, right? Super easy. Let's jump over to our thermal camera. So the board, the board is big. The board extends all the way from here. You see that's the edge of the board. All the way, all the way, all the way to right here. Big board. So I'm going to have to point the thermal camera from far away so we can see the overall picture on that board. And in the meantime, I'm going to inject voltage at the current sense resistor. That's my probe right here. Let's go ahead and inject voltage. Okay, anything hot? Oh yeah, right there, right there. Where is it? I lost it. Let's do it one more time. See it? Right over here. We got it. Most likely a shorted cap or something similar. Where is that heat spot coming from? Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at this. The problem is obvious like daylight. Which cap is faulty? Can you guess? That's a hard one, a really hard one. I think we can all agree that this one does not look good. So we can start with this one, but you'll be surprised. Maybe the one next to it is the one that's not good and this one is good. Let's go ahead and remove this cap. But before I remove the cap, just for the sake of this video, let me put the meter in diode mode. We're going to measure from here to here. And we do have a short. I just want to confirm. Okay. Confirmed. What caused that cap to blow? Caps fail since the beginning of time. They fail for no reason. Absolutely no reason. They just fail. 
But sometimes viewers ask, how did that cap fail? I don't know. You should ask the cap. He knows best. He was not feeling good and then suddenly he just gave out. That's the only thing I can tell you. First he had a headache, then diarrhea, and then he just failed. I would say 80% of devices or laptops that come into the shop for repair, they suffer from short circuit. Now, I did not measure if we still have a short circuit, but since I removed the cap, we're going to replace it, and then I'll measure. And we are done. Let's go ahead and measure. And we no longer have a short. That's amazing. 0 0.32 voltage drop, 0 0.32 voltage drop, and I'm assuming that this part is ground. I have my red probe here. If I flip the probes, we're going to probably get a higher reading. Yeah, 0 0.89 voltage drop. Great. The problem is fixed. Now, I have another... MSI motherboard right here, I do not know if this one is going to suffer from the same problem, but they look similar, right? The boards look similar. Actually, <laughs> exactly the same board. We just fixed this one, and now I'm going to work on this one. Maybe I'll combine it in this video, or we'll do a separate video on this one. Let me hand over the motherboard to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Laptop is ready. For testing. And do we see a light? Yeah, the fan is spinning right there. And we do see a light right here. And yes, yes, awesome. Done, fixed. One fixed and one more to go. Right now we are working on this one right here. Let's switch over to the microscope and take it from there. Let's go ahead and work on this other MSI motherboard. Exactly the same board. Exactly the same board. I did not read what the customer wrote on his ticket. Did Big Boss put the ticket number here? Yes, he did. And this one is MS17F3. I think it was 17F4 on the other one. So this one is slightly different. Board issue multiple heat spots on board. So let's jump over to the DC area of the board, just like we did with the first board. And we have our two MOSFETs here. And look at this. Why do we have solder on this current sense resistor? I mean, current sense resistors almost always do not go bad unless there's physical damage or liquid damage or Hiroshima of some type. But there's no reason why anybody would want to apply solder on any current sense resistor. Let's measure like we did with the first board. Do we have a short circuit? Meter in diet mode. And we do. But this short circuit is different because I'm reading 0 0.01 voltage drop and not at that zero. Let me go to ohms mode. And we have a two ohm short. Unlike the first board, where we had a zero ohm short, we have a two ohm short here. Actually, a one ohm short just went down, one ohm. So most likely, we're going to have a different issue than the first board. But the procedure is the same. We're going to apply voltage at the short and monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. Same procedure. Isn't it strange? that both MSI boards have a short circuit. And if you look here, we have a heat spot right over here and the GPU and nothing else. We narrowed down the problem to this heat spot here. We had a slight heat spot in this area and also a heat spot 
at the GPU. GPU is likely not the culprit, but I do see something unusual right here. It may or may not be anything, but what we're going to do is measure. Do we have a short circuit at the cap? Meter in ohms mode. And if we measure from here to here, what do we have? We do not have a short, so the problem is not this cap. We have 414 ohms. We have 2 kilo ohms. We do have a 1 ohm reading here. And we do have a 1 ohm reading here. We're going to have to look under the thermal camera again. Exactly right here. This guy right here. Why don't we remove this component and see if that will release the short? If yes, then we're going to have to get a similar component. I do not know if we have a donor that looks the same or if we have the same chip in stock. If not, then we're going to have to order that chip but of course before we do any ordering let's go ahead and remove the chip and see if that's the culprit the chip is out and if we measure now do we still have a short and we do not <laughs> the short is gone. The short is gone. Meter in diode mode, and we're going to measure at the current sense resistor. And look at this, 0 0.29 voltage drop. Wow. The board is still hot, so the reading will probably go up to about 0 0.4, or maybe 0 0.39, 0 0.38. But we got it. But we got it. 0 0.291 wow we did it now the question is where are we going to get a similar chip from i'm going to have to look at some donor msi boards and see if we can locate a similar chip let me take a look at the chip quick yeah so we're going to have to open up some donor msi laptops and see if i can get a similar chip if i am able to get one we will finish this repair in this video otherwise if I do not finish the repair today, then we're going to have to order the chip, solder it back on, and I'm 99.9% .9 positive that will fix the problem. We do not have a short circuit on the board anymore, and that chip is the culprit. So I'll be back. Hi, Poppy. Hello, Habibi. I'm the one who made that song about it. Oh, you are the one who made that song. It was amazing. Everybody loved it so much. How many comments did I get? You know what they liked about the song? You just got busted right now, Trish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also liked something else. Better than factory? Yeah. So I have a donor laptop right here. Big Boss just found this one. A similar board to the one I'm working on. And I do see the component I'm looking for right here. So let's grab that component right here I just measured for a short circuit we do not have any so we know the component is good before we solder the component let's prep the pads And let's use our empty glare light. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fume extractor on.
Yeah, we're almost done. We're gonna press and hold, apply heat. We're gonna squeeze out all the axis, just like this. You see how nice that looks? Of course, how nice that looks without this, without the axis. And the soldering is better than factory. And we're done. Just grab a Chemtech wipe, clean all the access flux off the board. A lot of you already purchased Chemtech wipes from our site. We carry and sell everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal camera, power supply, original Amtech flux, tweezers, the brush I'm using right now. Whatever tools we use on our bench, for the most part, we carry and sell in our store. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. We're done. I replaced the component right here. I'm going to hand it over to Big Boss to assemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Hopefully, we have a fix. Okay, Big Boss just reassembled the second laptop. And great news, the laptop is working. But we have a small issue. The screen is not good. Look at this, the screen is broken. We're gonna replace the screen and invoice the customer for both motherboard repair and screen replacement. We're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.